Hi everyone, it's Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, back to talk about the human body. Do you know what we're going to talk about this time? We're going to talk about muscles. Your muscles help your body move so you can walk, breathe, swallow, speak, and do many other things. Together, your muscles make up your muscular system. There are 650 muscles in your body. Who remembers how many bones we have in our skeleton? That's right, we have 206. We have more muscles in our bodies than we have bones. Some muscles are big, like the ones in your legs. Some are small, like the ones in your face. Muscles crisscross the body, so you can move in many ways. Muscles move by contracting or getting shorter, and then relaxing or getting longer again. Tendons are part of your muscular system. Feel behind your knee. There are some strong rope-like bands under the skin. They are called tendons. Tendons are cords that attach your muscles to your bones. The muscles that move your bones are called your skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. That is because you control them with your brain by thinking. Pretend that you're throwing a ball. Your brain tells your arm muscles to move back first and then move forward. At the same time, your brain is telling your hand muscles when to grasp the ball and when to let it go. Two muscles often work together in a pair to move bones. Touch the top of the upper part of your arm. That is where your bicep muscle is found. Now touch the underside of your arm. That is where the tricep muscle is located. When you threw that pretend ball just now, your bicep muscles bent your elbows. The triceps straightened your elbows. The muscles of your hand and arm work together in many ways. They help you make tiny, exact movements, like picking up a crumb off the table. And they are there for you, too, when you need great strength, like doing a handstand. The most movable part of your hand is your thumb. Try wiggling yours. It can move in many different directions, more than any of your other fingers. There are many muscles in your face, mostly attached to your skin. Did you know that you need muscles to help you laugh, frown, or even raise your eyebrows? All the muscles we've talked about so far are voluntary, meaning you have to decide when to move them. Other muscles in your body are involuntary. That means that you don't have to think about these muscles to move. They do it automatically. Involuntary muscles keep your blood flowing and your food moving through your body. Think about these two actions your body does, kicking a ball and blinking your eyes. Which do you think is voluntary and which is involuntary? That's right. Voluntary movement includes kicking a ball. Blinking your eyes is involuntary. You don't have to think about it. Your body automatically does it. Do you have to tell your heart to beat or does it work automatically on its own? Your heart is another kind of involuntary muscle. It is called cardiac muscle. This thick, powerful muscle contracts and relaxes over and over and over again on its own without stopping. It pumps the blood all around your body once every minute. Your heart is a very important muscle that is necessary for your body to live. Do you want to know what muscle is the largest muscle in your body? Here's a hint. You're probably sitting on it right now. It is your gluteus maximus, or buttock muscle. You have two of them, one on each side of your bottom. 
Now, since our time together is coming to a close for today, here is a goodbye rhyme from Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician. That's me. I'm glad that I have muscles. They help me to have fun, to jump and kick a soccer ball, to smile and speak and run. I'm glad that I have muscles and glad that you do too. So you can wave goodbye to me and I can wave to you. When we meet next time, we'll have a lot to chew on. That's a clue to what system of the body we'll be learning about. Can you guess what it is? See you again soon.